Hi everyone. My name is Hemant Agiwal. I'm a student at UW Madison and today I will be talking about a really cool process known as friction surfacing. But first, let's understand what is friction. Friction is a force resisting the movement between two objects. The way a rolling ball stops after a while, it's because the friction that is applied by the surface on this ball. Friction actually leads to generation of heat. And the best way to feel that is by rubbing your hands and you will feel your palms getting warmer. Another quick way to see the same is by snapping your fingers and your fingers will become warm. That's a mysterious friction doing its job. So friction surfacing is like a coating or a deposition process. Just like how you coat glue on a surface or use a chapstick or for that same matter, applying butter on bread. But can you imagine doing the same with a metallic rod? Friction surfacing deposits this rod by plastically deforming it. But how does a metal behave like plastic? Well, a quick way to see this is by taking a paper clip. You can bend and wiggle this paper clip like a plastic just by applying a little bit of force. And during this process, you will see that it also gets warmer. Friction surfacing happens in the same way where this rod is actually heated up by applying a frictional contact and then it deforms and moves like a plastic and forms a coating. Let's look at a video of a friction surfacing process. Here we have put this tool that we just saw in a machine and this tool is spinning and while the tool spins it comes into contact with this plate and you will see that as the tool moves along this tool will get deposited on this plate. Did you see how the rod was glowing while it was getting deposited? It's mainly because it got heated up by the friction that was happening because of the contact of this rod with the plate. And that heat deformed this rod and helped in making this deposit onto the substrate. Let's look at this deposit closely. And you can see here that we get a coating of this metal onto a plate just the way you coat a chapstick, butter or a glue stick. This is the rod after friction surfacing. And you can see here that the rod has actually has this sort of layer of material around it. If you look closely to your chapstick or your glue stick after depositing something, you should see a similar structure outside that rod or chapstick where the material is flowing out. So in our lab, we use really big machines to do friction surfacing. As you can see in these two pictures, these are machining centers and you all should watch the video of metal cutting to know more about how these machines operate and what we can do on these machines. The reason we need such big machines for this process is that in this process, the forces are really high, as high as 10,000 newtons. That's approximately the weight of a full grown cow. Friction surfacing can be used to make really different and cool shapes, as you can see here, like oval and closed circular shapes or even like spheroidal shapes. Friction surfacing can be used to deposit metal on different geometries. As you can see here, that it's a cylindrical shape on which friction surfacing is being done. Friction surfacing can be used to do crack repair, improve corrosion and product life. You can also see that by doing multiple layers each on each other, you can actually make 3D parts using friction surfacing. At Unity Madison, we do friction surfacing of stainless steels. And the goal of our project is to reduce the process forces that we saw earlier, which are very high, to as low as 100 newtons, which is like 20 pounds. And the way we do it is by increasing the speeds at which the rod spins. And you can see here that by doing that, we are actually able to reduce the forces during the process. The other research we do here is to repair cracks in steel canisters. And the way we do it is that we deposit a coating on a crack. And you can see here that this crack was closed right below the coding. So I hope you all enjoyed this presentation and learned about friction surfacing. Thank you and have a good day.